Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an essential navigational tool, the Azimuth Circle. Let's explore what it is and how to use it effectively for both terrestrial and celestial observations. Stop. Let's talk about the Azimuth Circle itself. An Azimuth Circle is a non-magnetic metal ring designed with sighting devices that help you observe the bearings of various objects. This includes everything from celestial bodies to terrestrial landmarks. It features a graduated ring with sighting vanes on either side, which fit concentrically over a compass or compass repeater. To ensure you get accurate observations, the azimuth circle is equipped with two bubble gauges. These gauges are crucial for maintaining horizontal alignment during your readings. Now that we understand what an azimuth circle is, Let's explore how to use it for taking bearings and azimuths. Let's start with taking a bearing of a terrestrial object, like a lighthouse. First, position the azimuth circle on the gyro repeater, ensuring it can rotate freely. Next, align the vanes with the lighthouse so that it's visible behind the vertical wire in the far vane. Once you have that set, drop your gaze to the prism at the base of the far vane. This is where you'll read the indicated bearing. It's a straightforward process, but accuracy is key. Now, let's move on to taking an azimuth of a celestial body. The azimuth circle can measure a celestial body's azimuth in two ways. For bright bodies like the sun, the circle comes with a concave mirror and a prism attachment. Start by aligning the mirror with your position and the prism with the celestial body. The light from the body reflects into the prism, creating a beam that indicates the azimuth on the compass card. For less bright celestial bodies, there's a pivoted dark glass behind the far vane. This feature allows you to sight the body at various altitudes. When you spot the body, its reflection will appear behind the vertical wire in the far vane, and you can read the azimuth under the hairline in the prism. Remember, Accurate readings depend on keeping the azimuth circle level, so aligning those bubble gauges is crucial. And that's a wrap on our guide to the azimuth circle. We hope this video helped you understand how to use this important navigational tool. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and happy navigating.